What's up everyone and welcome back to Low Luxury. I'm Killian and today I want to talk to you about the brand Enfant Riche de Prime. And I know that's a brand we talk about a lot on the channel, but I'm going to take a slightly uh, different perspective here, a different angle. And just for those of you who are unaware, maybe new to the channel, new to the brand, Enfant Riche de Prime, also known as ERD, is a luxury fashion brand, kind of punk influenced, and they're known for being incredibly unapproachable, both from the subject matter of their pieces, but also to price. Their creator has called it uh, nihilist punk couture, so the pieces are often thousands of dollars, and the nihilism is really in there. They, they want to make it hard to get into and very unapproachable and even offensive to a lot of people. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't check it out. I think it's a brand really worth looking into and that has a lot of great wearable pieces. But sometimes people ask, where do I start? How do I get into this brand that feels like it is intentionally trying to keep me out? Well, that's what we're here for today. I want to show you the accessible side of Enfant Riche de Premier, both from a design perspective and a price perspective. Because you see, listen, this shirt right here, is not accessible. Let me hold this up here. Uh, can you see me through that? Maybe through the light? That's great. Uh, this is not accessible from a design perspective because it is just uh, offensive and also kind of, uh, I don't know, tough in the wake of the Balenciaga stuff. Like, let's hope people don't find out about that. This jacket that I'm wearing, this suede jacket, is very unaccessible from a price perspective. Like, uh, at retail, this was probably like three to four grand, you'd be lucky to find it at resale for less than 1500, like good luck. That's not gonna work for most people. But there are pieces out there. There are pieces that are not gonna make your mom's head explode if you wear them to a family function. There are pieces that are not going to put you into bankruptcy, I hope. So let's do that. Let's take a look at these accessible Enfant Riche de Prime pieces. And of course, we'll look at the details, but then we'll also throw some fits together at the end. I'll show you where you can find pieces like this. I'm excited, so let's dive in. Okay, this is the first accessible ERD piece I wanna show you, and it's really the one that inspired me to make this video. I already have one of these in a black color, but I decided to get another because I loved it so much. This is like the ultimate ERD starter piece on every level, I would say. First off, it's not overly branded. It's not overly offensive. You just get a little embroidered ERD for the if you know you know crowd. And otherwise, it's just a really well-made long sleeve shirt. You do get some elements of design though. You, like you can tell the wash here, like the, this kind of like stained whiskered look is there little extra stains going on. There's something interesting there. You can also see up at the top, this neck is absurdly wide. It's, it gives it kind of like a feminine, almost Rick Owensy kind of look, I would say. The sleeves flare out really nicely. You can see how tight this is right here in the ribbing. And probably my favorite thing about this is just how comfortable it is. It is a cotton and modal ribbed fabric made in the USA and I've just never felt anything quite like it. I'm obsessed, obsessed with this fabric. It makes it one of my favorite pieces to wear. And the best part about this is that it's also, I think, probably the cheapest ERD shirt ever. They pretty consistently make these shirts from season to season, so they're regularly in, so in stock on the brand's website, as well as some of their stockists. And at those stockists, you'll sometimes find them on sale from their already for ERD, that is cheap price. Uh, but at resale, they'll also drop quite a bit below that. Like I feel like the, the going rate for one of these at resale is maybe 150 bucks when at retail it's like 360, I believe. So if you're looking to get an ERD shirt, this is 100% the place to start in my opinion. But if you're more of a logo person, if you really want to put it out there that you're, you're repping ERD, I would urge you to start with one of these big logo print pieces. This one is from an early season, as you can tell from that larger tag here, but they still make these almost every season. And it's also one of their most stocked pieces, you know, at Essence and all their other stockists. So again, they go on sale pretty often. And they also show up at resale the most because they make the most of these. 
And I would say ERD or resale prices, they are mostly uh, determined, however you wanna judge how they're determined, by how rare the piece is. And since these pieces get made season after season, they tend to be cheaper than most at resale. And by buying one of these t-shirts, you don't just get that big logo. It's not only about that. You also get an entryway into a couple other key elements of ERD design. First, you get the heavy distressing and wear that goes on in a lot of their pieces. Like that is a massive hole right there. So that's something that you need to kind of find your entry point into. And it is also their paper thin cotton fabrication, which is a staple of the brand. So it's another entryway into that. But it's not all about the shirts, right? What if you're saying, hey, I need some pants. Well, let's talk about that now with this amazing example right here. Now from this distance, they may not look like much and even up close, maybe they're not for you, but I just love these. This pair of kind of like mobster cut pants, really wide and then they taper down and they have these big included suspenders here that go over the shoulders. And this is the type of pair that you will absolutely need to go to resale for. Pants like this, a, a pure wool pair, from the ERD site or one of their stockists, it's gonna be among their most expensive pieces. But at resale, their unbranded pants tend to be among the most accessible from a price perspective. And this once again is just a nice, easy way to ease into the brand. You could see this, you know, it doesn't read as just ERD. It would fit into a wardrobe with a bunch of other pieces, but I just love this and I love that pieces like this, high quality, great materials, they are at an accessible price for the brand on Grailed or eBay or wherever you may end up looking for them. Finally, I want to talk about denim because again, from a price perspective, this tends to be one of the easiest ways in. There's no heavy branding here. There's nothing crazy. It's just well-made denim. But there's design here, like these ones on the inside are fully lined in this check flannel and this salmon color. I just love that. But the great thing about this is that this exact piece was on sale at Essence for multiple seasons and got down to some insane levels of discounting. So you could have had a pair of these for probably like the cheapest you can find any ERD stuff. And it's an incredible piece. And you see that with their, you know, kind of quote unquote standard denim pieces quite regularly. And again, it's often made in the USA, sometimes even Japan, modern cuts like this nice straight leg here. It works for everything I love. He likes to give the pants a light, little bit of a crop as well, which I love. It's just a great, great entry point. All right, now that we've checked out those details, it is time to try these pieces on. I think we've got enough for two solid fits here. So let's do it. Okay, our first look here are the wool suspender pinstripe pants and that ribbed modal cotton shirt. And you can tell right off the bat here, this is a very fashion forward look. While we're staying accessible in terms of it's not offensive and it can be had relatively cheap by ERD standards at least, it is still a fashion look. Like this is not something that you would be buying off the shelf at any fast fashion store, I don't think. You can see I've paired it with some Rick Owens X Doc Martens boots just to tie the whole thing together. And I think it's a nice look. This is something I would be perfectly happy to go out in. Uh, obviously, I'm not just, you know, going down to the grocery store in this. This would be like a going out outfit when you're trying to kind of pull off a look, but it has a very specific aesthetic to it. It's not that typical super thrashed ERD punk look. It's a bit more old school. It kind of reads as like 80s British, like oi skinhead punk type of thing. If you're familiar with any of those kind of eras or subcultures, it's like you just got off a long day at the mines and now you're going down to the pub and you're gonna smash a few bottles over someone's head for, you know, giving you a little bit of a lip. It makes me feel violent is what I'm saying. YouTube, don't demonetize me. That was a joke, please please save my channel, boost me in the algo, please YouTube. But yeah, in the end, that's just what I like about this look. It's that it is an, a fashionable ERD look that can be had on a budget. And our second look here is a very simple, straightforward streetwear look. 
This is, I think, the going down to the grocery store look. This is the, the vibe and look. This is the, you know, tossed off, I didn't put too much effort into it look. And this one is actually full ERD because the shoes are mainline ERD, the kind of like black leather sneakers that they put out after they finished their collaborations with Vans. I feel like this was kind of their way of doing their own Vans and take that silhouette back for themselves and keep it in house. But this look, look, it's not gonna knock any doors down. This is not like a runway ready look. This is a chillin' look. This is the kind of look that you could throw on any day of the week. And those flannel lined jeans, they're really warm, comfortable, great for winter. And this thrash t-shirt is that great entry point into ERD that I think a lot of people choose one of these t-shirts as maybe their first ERD piece. So yeah, I buy both of these and they're both some of the cheapest ERD pieces you can get. And they're pieces that nobody is gonna be side eyeing you. No one is gonna be looking at you like you are, I don't know, a, a complete freak or perv or anything like that. It's just good, wholesome, solid, kind of sometimes not really affordable fashion. All right, that's the video. I hope you feel more comfortable now approaching ERD if you feel so inclined to do so. I think it's a sick brand. I think they have a lot to offer. So thank you so much for watching. Take a look at the other video on screen here. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.